Well, that didn't exactly go to plan. Um, Chelsea won Leicester nil at the KP. Um, I was predicting that we'd go through at least extra time penalties, um, but it'd be lovely to get the job done in 90 minutes. Uh, of course, typical Leicester, we start really well. I probably, it's probably the best 45 minutes we've played uh, probably all season, to be fair. We got out the blocks flying and had two or three chances where we could have been two up by 10 minutes. Harvey Barnes being having the best of those chances just did not take the chances when we had them. Ultimately went into half-time 0-0. Frank Lampard, clearly not a happy man, and I wouldn't be if I was in his position. Chelsea were dog in that first half. Came out second half, triple change for, for Chelsea. And uh, I think as Leicester fans, we started to get a little bit worried because they had fresh legs. Brendan kept with the same team going into the second half. And uh, ultimately, it was uh, Chelsea's FA Cup maestro, Ross Barkley, who loves popping up in this competition. He scored the goal, and which turned out to be to be the winner in 90 minutes. Just frustrating, really. Um, this is a reaction literally two minutes after 90 minutes. So, uh, yeah, very disheartened at, at the second half performance. Anyway, I think the first half, well, like I said, we were outstanding and should have been three up by half time. And we missed those chances and we should have took them in at the, at the top level. Very cliche, but you do get punished sooner rather than later. And obviously, second half, it turned out to be that way. I think. I think tactically, Brendan got it spot on. I think the lineup was spot on. I like the inclusion of Harvey Barnes in there. I thought he gave us some width. He gave us some, some pace going forward alongside Vardy. But I think second half, when Lampard made those changes, I think he could have brought Ian Acho on, give Vardy some support because our midfield dropped back 10 or 15 yards when we weren't having the ball. Um, and obviously in those transition periods, it looked like Chelsea were dominating the midfield. So I would have liked to have seen Ian Acho come on at some point, but Brendan didn't do that and uh, kept it pretty rigid, if I'm honest. And I suppose he could be at fault for that um, in, in hindsight. But, of course, that's a wonderful thing. And as football fans, we're all entitled to our opinion, and that's certainly mine. Um, a frustrating time to be out the FA Cup, but I suppose, as from a Leicester fan's point of view, I think we'll be quite happy to, to stay with the league now and try and get that top four, because since the restart after, after lockdown, we've not exactly been at our best. One goal in, in three games isn't really good enough especially for a team that are pushing for Champions League you need goals in your team and it doesn't matter where they come from um, I will look at defence today I thought we were pretty solid in actual fact I don't think we did much wrong uh, obviously apart from the goal where we, we were pretty slack I thought we were solid throughout um, I thought Soinchu had a pretty decent game uh, I thought Johnny Evans was pretty sound I thought James Justin average I think he was good Defensively, I think going forward, he's not Ricardo Pereira and we are missing him badly. So the sooner October rolls through for next season, the better, I think. And I think Ben Chilwell, again, not bad at all, but against the team that he could be playing for next season, if rumours are, uh, are believed to be true, I don't think he put in a bad shift to uh, raise Frank Lampard's ears and, and obviously his, his eyes will be firmly on him come the transfer window. Um, just... Yeah, really frustrating. Really, really frustrating time watching that. <laughs> I thought at half-time that would be it. Second half, it was a completely different set of emotions. And, uh, of course, the expletives I was shouting throughout the second half is not something I'm going to repeat on here. But as you can tell from any football fan's point of view, you know exactly what I said and, <laughs> and how I said them as well. Um, so, yeah, Leicester nil, Chelsea won. Chelsea go through to the semis of the FA Cup and it's the third time they've knocked us out. At this stage in this cup competition, it's so infuriating. We've not got the, the monkey off our back, so to speak. But we focus on the top four now. Um, roll on the next game. Of course, Everton away will be a tough game. But again, we've got to look to take three points there. Whether he rotates the side again, he could. He could start Iheanacho and Vardy. Um, but Vardy needs extra service up there. He needs help. Uh, he can't do it all on his own. And we're relying too much on him. So that's up to the midfield to supply. But it's also for Brendan Rodgers to realise that he could play two up top and it could work having that extra man there. Um, and of course, Iheanacho did score the equaliser last season when he came on against Everton at the King Power after coming off the bench to help Vardy in that game. So again, a similar circumstance could happen. So yeah, live reaction. Less than no Chelsea won. Chelsea go through. Congratulations to Frank Lampard. And, and Chelsea, I don't want to do this re reaction if I'm honest, but I'm here. Shout out to Let's Talk Sport. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. But I'm out. I'm off to drama, so is an alcohol. See you soon.